Hey guys, okay, so this week I'm going to make a quick meatloaf, which is great to have prepped in your fridge and it's so easy to heat up. You just slice it up, toss it in the oven or a little toaster oven if you have it. So I'm gonna try to sneak some vegetables in it for my kids. Um, don't tell anyone. But right now my son's only really eating carrots, so that's fine. I'm gonna put carrots in it. I'm gonna peel all the other vegetables and cook them down so hopefully they kind of lose a little bit of their color, which is the opposite of what I normally want to do. I'm going to try to sneak them in there, so let's we'll see what happens. I haven't started crying yet with the onions. We'll see. I've talked to so many pro chefs being like, how do you not cry with the onions? Nobody has a good tip. From the freezer to everything, I've tried it. And they're just like, after a while, you just kind of stop crying. I've been cooking for a long time and I still cry when I chop an onion. So far right now, it's okay though. Okay, cool. So now I am starting to cry. Now the onions are cooking, I start them off first because I want them to really cook down and get translucent and soft and sweet. You don't want your onions to brown. See, this is when I really miss my board, but we're in a rental, so I don't have it. Look at how much my board is overflowing. This is why I created my prep board. Because soon, this thing is gonna be full. Okay, so now we're gonna add the carrots to the onion and start cooking all this down. Now, you wanna peel this because this color is a, a giveaway So for my kids to see the vegetables in there. So I'm gonna try to make it as neutral as possible and hide it. Where is the cutting board? All right. You know what, I'm gonna use just a half because this is a good amount. Now I'm gonna mince this really small and add it to our vegetable mixture. Next. Oh, I love red bell pepper. It gets so sweet and delicious. Let me cook it down. Okay, so we're gonna have our vegetables in here. So I like doing a little cook on the vegetables ahead of time because sometimes they don't cook in time if you just put them in the oven uncooked and then they're too crunchy. So I like to do a partial cook on them. Okay, what's this going? Yeah for an hour. Okay. Oh my gosh, that looks beautiful. So you guys, this cooks for about an hour and five minutes. It smells amazing too. Oh my, God. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm gonna sneak so many vegetables into my family with this, it's crazy. <laughs> Yay, thanks for hanging out. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and turn notifications so you know when I put up another video. And I'll see you guys soon. My son is actually calling me, so I'm going to go <laughs> check on that.